such an honor to be here. Thank you for all the beautiful readings we've had so far. Um, this poem uh, takes its title from the name of a town uh, in France, Les Mille. Uh, and I think the only thing I need to add to that is that mille is also the word for thousands in French. Pour les deux mille plus, site mémorial du Camp des Mille. Les Mille. There is no poem unless I, we, can find the courage to speak. In the middle of a vacation in the south of France, a chance to visit a World War II detention center arises, dusty and bleak, just outside Aix-en-Provence, just past the scent of lavender in an ancient heat. The first thing you see and the last thing you visit is a boxcar. You know what it means. It takes the same toll on the breath, the pulse, as the rusted shackles displayed in another damned museum. There are histories of torture preserved all around us, formally, officially, with placards and institutional funding, casually, quietly, unavoidably, in the quality of a glance, the poverty of an existence, the demographics of a mall, a church, a prison. In a former tile factory, we learn again how anything can be misused, how anyone can be abused. A kiln is not a dormitory until it is. Here, there, slept people who were too Jewish to be German, too German to be French, too despised and feared to be defended, even by those who feared they, we, might soon be despised. If I now say Palestine, have I forgotten Auschwitz? If I say settlements, have I now forgotten camps? If I don't say Palestine, have I forgotten Elmina, Selma, Cape Town, Haiti? Must every place name on earth be a shorthand for violence on a map of grief? Orlando, Charleston, Wounded Knee, Sharpville, Gettysburg, Tiananmen Square, Gaza, Kachin, Plaza de Mayo, Soweto, Dominican Republic, Hiroshima, Srebrenica, Rwanda, Cambodia, Ankara, Adana, Odessa, Nanking. Yesterday and yesterday's yesterday, the planet pushing up sycamores and lavender, rice and plantains, fertilized with lead and blood, with rain from poisonous clouds and the dust that becomes of the dead. Adam, whose name means clay, was not baked in a kiln. Eve's name means life, implies the day that follows. Will tomorrow be a place we can name after something that grows? What is the proper use of a wall? There are so many histories 
buried in the space and silence around within these words. These lines make a poor but portable museum, a set of sketches, palimpsests, faint and painfully incomplete, that map the territory of the human with arrows pointing in every direction, some leading from you, some leading to you. There is no poem unless you, we, can find the courage to hear. Thank you.